So we're here on the set of the Transgender Project. The idea for this came out of my graduate research uh, at the University of British Columbia when I interviewed a group of transgender men uh, who told me that there really was a dearth of positive, affirming stories about gender transition and really there was this dominant negative transition story, as one of the guys uh, put it, uh, available for people to see. The difficulty with that is that uh, if you are someone who's thinking about gender transition or questioning your gender, that if you go to the internet, to YouTube, to whatever resource, what you're mostly going to find are these negative transition stories, that finding these affirming stories uh, was much more difficult. Uh, our thought was that if you were considering transition and you were listening at the door to the discussion around gender that all you were going to hear were these negative transition stories and we wanted to fill the void so when the producer uh, Kevin O'Keefe and I had a conversation about the my research which turned into my book Transforming Practice uh, we thought maybe we could help fill that void with stories that are affirming and uh, that demonstrate the strength and resilience uh, of transgender Canadians. And that's what brought us to this project. We've had some criticism from some people that we are cisgender uh, uh, allies working on this project and not transgender people doing this project and I understand that at the same time I think as allies we have a particular role that we can play uh, I liken it to uh, being a gay man and uh, often being the person who speaks up around gay and lesbian issues and I find that my reach is limited at times that when an ally can speak up, there is a, there's a different, there's a further reach that can often be made by an ally speaking on behalf of another community. This is not about silencing the voices. Uh, as the project, I think, demonstrates, this project is all about hearing the stories of trans people. And as allies, what we're doing is creating an opportunity, an avenue, creating a seat for trans Canadians to take to share their stories broadly across the internet uh, around what their experiences have been in transition and as being uh, transgender in Canada. I encourage folks, uh, if they're in a safe place to do so, to share their stories. Um, we talked with a lot of people, uh, and not all the people who were interested in taking part eventually took a seat with us. Uh, there is an understandable uh, need for maintaining your safety and being at a place in your life uh, where it's appropriate to be open. Um, if you're young or living in a smaller community or you're in a, in a unique uh, job, it, it may or may not be appropriate or safe for you to share that uh, because of your livelihood or because of violence. That said, the more people who do share their stories, uh, the, I believe the, the less oppression, uh, the less violence there will be. So if you feel like it's an appropriate time we invite you to share your stories and please let us know. We'd love to hear your stories, watch your stories and see them on YouTube uh, or posted on the internet so that others can find them as well. And we'll do our best to try and help get your stories out. When I started uh, doing this research, it was because I had met a number of trans men I just begun in grad school and I heard their stories about gender transition. And then I went to uh, read the literature 
uh, and I, there was such a discrepancy there. I was hearing these, these wonderful and rich stories and in the literature all I was hearing was uh, these, you know, this group of people with, with psychiatric disorders. And it moved me to, to, to find these stories. Once I had spoken with these trans men and helped to share their stories, uh, I wanted to share them further. That's why I wrote the book. Uh, I wrote the book for healthcare providers because I knew that that was a media, an avenue for that service providers would use to be able to provide better healthcare service to uh, trans men. I knew that the book would be of interest to trans men and trans communities as well because those stories are so powerful that that project has now evolved into this is so moving to me and so meaningful for me. There's often a critique that researchers benefit more from research of trans communities than the community does itself and I believe that uh, I I have a debt to the people who spoke with me, the people who have participated in this project, that we owe them a debt to help get their stories out so that there is a greater benefit to trans communities than there, there is to us, and I believe that we've achieved that here.